For my Cold War project, my initial research led me to understand that, under Stalin, socialism had failed as a system due to rampant censorship, serious malpractices, and a fall into false consciousness. You can see this highlighted in social realist art of the time, portraying Stalin and the Soviet Union as heroic defenders, ignoring the reality faced by Soviet citizens. Through further research, I then discovered the theories of perestroika, as described by former Russian President Mikhail Gorbachev in his book, Perestroika, New Thinking for Our Country and the World. Gorbachev's theories explored a form of socialism which adopted elements of democracy in order to return socialism to its roots under Lenin. Present was a form of socialism which encouraged criticism and dissenting opinion, as well as a self-awareness which was not present under Stalin's rule. In addition, Gorbachev aimed to activate the human factor, which means to take into account the unique situations and aspirations of each worker as an individual, in order to encourage each to make their own contribution to Soviet society. Another theoretical influence was the work of Terry Gilliam, as his work is rooted in satire, irony, and postmodernism, particularly his work with the Monty Python group. In a way, I view perestroika as a postmodern form of socialism or Marxism, as it aimed to account for the different situations of individual workers rather than treating them as a collective group, so I felt this connection would be appropriate. I also felt this way as it would allow me to subvert the ideas present in the social realist pieces by taking figures presented as heroes and defenders in their original artwork and transform them into oppressors to reflect the reality of the Soviet Union under Stalin. This also made the pieces more in line with the core principles of socialist realism, as the images now reflected the true reality that workers and citizens of Russia faced, as opposed to the reality that the party agreed with. To achieve this, I took real examples of social realist art and manipulated them into animatable objects, removing arms, heads, hands, and even whole figures, then posing and animating them to suit the scene I envisioned. In cases where the original image was too small for what I needed, I recreated it in Adobe Illustrator as a vector image and upscaled it. I used pastels and charcoal to create animated sequences involving the communist hammer and sickle forming out of dust. The first instance, yellow forming out of red, presenting an illusion of grandeur and superiority. Second, white out of charcoal, a black background following an explosion representing the Cold War, as well as the failure of socialism, the white representing truth. An effort made by former Russian president Nikolai Khrushchev before Gorbachev to welcome openness to socialism. This, however, is also steeped in irony, as the later sequences showcases the reality which Khrushchev was blind to due to the officials in the Soviet Union. In the end, Perestroika proved an invaluable resource in my project's production, as it allowed me to fully explore the hypocrisies of Stalin Marxism and investigate an idealized working version, which gave my project invaluable focus.